All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Mr. Criminal live on air with Little Cuete discussing Little Rob. You know, they went as far as saying F Little Rob and F all podcasters. Well, I fall in that category because I am a podcaster, blogger, YouTube, you know, whatever you want to call it. But I am a game banger at all times and I am a game banger and a south sider before I am a podcaster. But still, I feel like they called me out. So I want to watch this video, see what they're talking about. So check this out. This video is coming from my homeboy's page, Rapping Corridos TV. So if you guys don't follow Rapping Corridos TV, go over there and subscribe to Rapping Corridos TV. With all that being said, salute to everybody that pulled up to the live last night. We went live on Hater World Uncensored. Uh, we go live every Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. We stayed on till 1 in the morning listening to music. Uh, you guys already know you guys request music, $13 to play the song. We listen to it, we vibe out, we chill, and we have a good time. Uh, now, we'll be going live again tonight at 7 p.m. Not here, not here, uh, on Hater World Uncensored, all right? So make sure you go to Hater World Uncensored. We go live every day, but Friday and Saturday, we go live doing music. Other than that, if you go over to Blue Devil Reactions, I have two, three videos up right now. The Life of Conejo from Westside Harpies, The Life of Baby Jokes from 213, and The Life of Shia LaBeouf. All right, Blue Devil Reactions, go over there, subscribe if you're not, watch them videos, run it up. Uh, and one last thing, if you're not subscribed right here to the hater world, you're missing out. We drop every day, every day, consistently once or twice a day uh we're bringing back 200 boys we're bringing back the merch store we're bringing back haters only trust me when i tell you i'm letting everybody work while i cook all right we're doing all that and if you don't follow us on instagram follow me at the hater world and also follow our media page hater world media we working we working and i don't run the media page so if you guys send me a message on there, you're not talking to me. All right. With no further ado, let's watch this video. Little Rob versus Little Cuete. Cuete wants to run a fade, mad over a feature. That's what it's called. Now, look, let me say something real quick. When I make videos about Little Rob, I don't mean no ill will. It's just my opinion on what I feel is going on. Like it or hate it. But personally, I don't have no issue with Little Rob. I can care less. I just want you guys to understand that as a blogger, as a YouTuber, this is what I do. This is what I have to do. You feel me? If I wouldn't be doing this, I wouldn't be doing my job. All right? So to everybody that's all angry and crying and their calzones are wet over Little Rob, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror and say, am I really defending a grown man? And I'm a grown man too? What a shame I have become. I would never, never think that my life would end up holding another man's nuts, protecting him on YouTube. God damn, what have I become? You should do that. You should do that. Because at the end of the day, you don't know this man. All you know is from the Pacific to be specific. That's all you know. So for you to be protecting another man is sort of weird. It's sort of weird. You know, we all have artists we like, but you don't got to do that. You don't got to fan out. You know, I got artists I like. I'm not out there protecting them because that's that, that's their that, that's what they gotta do. I'm gonna just enjoy the music and that's it. But when you got grown men out there grabbing and holding, it's like, dog, you're looking weird right now. But let's go. Let's get into this video. Uh, Rapping Corridos TV did his due diligence. We're not gonna get stricken down. So, salute. Let's get this. Let's get you guys a uh. Southside reaction. A couple of days ago, I, uh, I mentioned some some people's names. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You said you were gonna mention no names. Let me see your lighter, dog. You said good. you were gonna mention no names and shit, dog. But um, yeah, I wanna fight Little Rob. <laughs> Straight up, Damn, you wanna yeah. fight him? Yeah, Uncle Rap Battle, huh? Yeah, I wanna fight him. 
Because if he wants to act like, oh, wow, it's, it's music and this and that, and then he's going to go and do his little PR around <laughs> around the radio stations and act like, oh, I could I could say, uh, hey, no, hey, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't all bueno, homie. Yeah. That's real talk. If you want to act like you're part of it, which you're probably trying to act like you're bigger than it, but you ain't. You definitely ain't. Um, Nobody is. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. And I... Hold on, bigger than what? See, a lot of people need to be specific nowadays because even in the comments, I'll be reading comments, I'll be like, what What are they talking about? Like, be specific, my boy. Like, like Little Rob is not bigger than Chicano rap. Little Rob is not bigger than the program when it comes to the homies. Like, wh what are we talking about? If Little Rob is not bigger than the program, the South Side, we know that. That's a that's a given. That's a fact. That's that shouldn't even be questioned. Little Rob is nowhere near being bigger than the program. All right, cool. We know that. Is he bigger than Chicano rap? No. Little Rob is Chicano rap, so he falls in the same category as Criminal, Cuete, and everybody else. Right? He he doesn't fall. He doesn't fall. I mean, he's not bigger than Chicano rap. He's not, because if he was, if he was, he'd be charting every time he drops records. If he was, he'd be on tour with Ice Cube. He'd be on tour with, with, uh, with who else is touring? Little Baby and all these rappers, right? He would, I mean, wouldn't he? And again, I want people to understand that we're trying to speak facts here. We're not going to get into all this crybaby debate about little Rob is this. We're not, we don't care. Let's just speak the facts. If little Rob was a mainstream artist, he would be on tour with big people, right? He wouldn't be at the Lowrider Super Show in Vegas, even though some artists do go there. But come on, like, let's speak facts, right? So where does little Rob perform? Where criminal performs, Denver. Where does Little Rob perform? A uh, uh, Burke, where where YB performs. So isn't he in the same category as everyone else in Chicano rap? Come on, be serious. Let's go. I said that one, and I said that one little story uh, last time to show his character. The motherfucker wasn't a man of his word. Yeah. I don't like the fact that he's going online. And like I said, doing the radio stations and 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 the podcast, um, trying to act like he's you know above that, but still like taking cheap shots, but not actually coming out and saying it like some uh, like a real one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he's hiding, dropping uh, his nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, we all know that. When I saw Little Rob do the big radio stations, I was like, damn, he's doing this on purpose, right? He's going to the big ones to try to tell all the other Chicano rappers, look, I could go to Power 106 whenever I want. Look, I can go to this one whenever I want. You guys can't do it. I can do it. I saw that, and that's what I took from it. Now, is he wrong? No. Use your, use your resources to the best of your ability, right? Why go do Hater World? Why go do Sorry As uh, This One, Sorry As That One? Well, now go to the radio. Facts. Like, I don't blame them whatsoever. Why come to my sorry ass shit when you go to these big radio stations? Why go to criminals when I go to Power 106? Facts. It is true. I, I don't blame Little Rob for that at all. But if you're going to go to these big platforms and you're going to sneak this, all the little ones, it's like, so what? You think you're better than everybody? So what? You think you're badass, but then you're going to cry when people call you out. So you're going to sneak this everyone. And then when they call you out, you're going to be like, oh, man, I don't want no problems to the Pacific to be specific. What? Like, come on, bro. Like, ten los huevos, way, Right? Ten los huevos. If you're going to go and run your mouth, at least say the people's names. That simple. And again, I don't blame him for using his resources. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? I don't blame him for voicing his opinion. That's what you're supposed to do. But if you're going to sneak this, at least have the balls to say the people's names or to stand up to it when they call you when they call you out on it. You feel me? Let's go. You know what's crazy? So, <clears throat> the last time I talked to him was like two months ago. Right? There's a lot of people like that, though, nowadays. Yeah, and I had a conversation with him, and I invited him. This is the craziest part. 
I said, hey, homie, I wanted you to pull up. He said, what's cracking? First of all, he wasn't answering his calls. He was trying to avoid it and shit. And I told fingers, like, what's cracking, homie? Is it a problem? So this fool's cracking. I started getting a little, you know me, dog. I'm like, well, fuck it. Hold on, hold on. See, this is why criminal is wrong right here. Before we even listen to the rest. You sound entitled, criminal. Well, Mr. Criminal, little Rob's got to answer my phone call. No, he don't. He don't got to answer shit. He don't got to answer shit. He don't got to. Why is he got to answer you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? A rapper. That's it. You're not his homeboy. You didn't grow up with him. You're not from his family. You're not, you're not a close relative. Oh, criminal's calling. Oh, big wow. Who cares? I'm busy. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. So if they didn't answer you, ni modo. Boo-hoo. Oh, well. Nobody owes you a, a, a... Nobody owes you that. Nobody. Let me tell him what's, what's good with it type shit. And right away that was in my DM. What's up, my boy? And he said some shit like, I just want to make sure I don't have, I have issues with you. I'm trying to be cool. And I was like, let's get on the horn and, and chop it up. So I just told him, hey, dog, you know... uh couple people had conversations and things to say about you over the years i think it's important you speak your side of the story he's like started stuttering uh, uh, what well i don't like getting on podcasts because i'm gonna get mad i say things i don't regret i regret and uh if 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 it's you mess with me for one time shame on shame on me the second time shame on you and it's just too much i was like i was confused by the conversation that does sound confusing right and, I, and Little Rob does say that because he said it on the full community. Shame on me once. Man, this fool living by uh, by inspirational quotes, right? That sounds like some scary-ass vato, right? How many of us know people like that, right? That don't answer you, don't talk to you, nothing. But once you get loud, all of a sudden, like, hey, we don't have a problem, do we? You know, I, sh I just want to do my thing. So listen, that sounds like scary-ass Little Rob. That's what it sounds like. I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds like he's scared, like... Leave me alone, guys. I just want to do my shows. I just want to do my thing. I don't care about you guys. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. I just want to do my thing. Please leave me alone. That's what it sounds like. And I don't know why these fools don't leave him alone. Like, leave um, leave him alone. Like, like, yeah, déjenlo. Va a llorar. Like, leave him alone. Like, if you talk to the guy, he's going he's, he's gonna to get scared and leave and never come back around. Like, we already know. Little Rob, there's nothing like to kick it with nobody, talk to nobody. Se la pasa in a glass box. Like, in the, sorry, a glass house. Like, come on, my boy. Like, leave him alone. This Vato does not want to be friends with nobody. He doesn't want to kick it with nobody. He doesn't want to do a record with nobody. Like, just let him be. Why does everybody continue to try to be cool with him or, or chill with him or, or try to get him to go on a podcast? Dejenlo la verga ya. Like, come on. Like, shit pisses me off. It's like, don't you guys see the signs? Don't you guys see the signs that little Rob does not want to be bothered? He's going to do whatever he wants, when he wants, with whoever he feels safe with. He go to the food community because fat ass Icon ain't going to do shit to him. Icon's not going to ask him questions about beef. Why? Because he probably told Icon, look, I'll give you the interview, but don't talk about this. And Icon probably said, hey, I'm going to get an interview. Whatever you want, master. Come on, bro. Like, come on. He come up here. He come. I'm going to be like, damn, fool, shadow, fuck your bitch. He don't want to hear that. He don't want to hear that. He don't want to hear that. Come on, bro. Like, listen. Leave this man alone. Leave this man alone. And his thousand trolls. And there's a thousand trolls. Leave them alone. Because, cause, you know, usually when you stand on something, you feel a certain way. But they ain't got to answer to you, you right though. all the way through with it, right? Yeah, but they ain't got to answer to you, criminal. They ain't got to answer to Mr. Criminal. They ain't got to go up to your podcast and answer to you. There is no uh, Chicano Rap Federation. There is no Chicano Rap uh, 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 structure. So they, nobody got to answer to criminal. Nobody got to answer to Cuete. Nobody got to answer to Capone. Nobody got to answer to... Uh, Swifty Blue. Nobody got to answer to nobody. That simple. Why do you feel that they owe you an explanation on what they stand on, not stand on? Not even from the same counties. That's how I am. That's yeah. how all my OGs raised me. It wasn't no stuttering. Shout out to Chris Morrow, $100. They said real OGs straight up. But without slandering the, the, the dude, 
I'm just being real. I felt like fuck uh, that fool. <laughs> Damn. Well, fuck him. You know what? But, but I, I feel like, I feel like he was he was on some winny shit because I, I told him, hey homie, come sit down and speak your mind. And he was all in his feelings about Shadow. Here's, a, here's how you know. Here's how you. Know. He was all in his feelings about Shadow. I'm telling you, that's what it was. If he would have went up to criminal stuff, a podcast, criminal would have asked him, hey, what's up with you and Shadow? Can you guys hold hands and sing Kumbaya? And and I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly how it's gonna go. All right, right now let's get it. I'm I'm well. You know what? I can never be, and I never want to be. But just say I was I was interviewing Little Rob. Right? I'm criminal. Just for five seconds. Hey, so what's up with you and Shadow? Can you guys hold hands and sing Kumbaya? I mean, we're getting old, and we should all be friends now and 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 go tour together, because I want to use your resources and you could use mine. Then Little Rob would have been like. I just want to be left alone, Holmes. You know, I, I want to live next to the Pacific to be specific. And if you fool me twice, shame on you. And you fool me one, twice, shame on me. Next question. That's what you guys want to see? That's what you guys want to see? That's what you guys want? I just gave you the whole game plan. Come on, man. Leave this guy alone. Leave This guy feels that he surpassed Chicano Rap. Let him. Let him feel that way. Let him do his big records. Let him be on the radio. He's never needed the help of nobody, so he doesn't need it now. Like, I fully understand that. I don't know why the homies continue to try to make him be cool with, with the homies. He doesn't like L.A. fools. Maybe he don't. Maybe he don't. He don't even like San Diego motherfuckers. We all know Royalty then robbed his ass. Royalty. You know, we all know that Shadow them boned his hyena. Like... What what else, bro? I guarantee you there's a bunch of other... We already know Little Weirdo don't like him. He ain't getting no call sign from him. Come on, bro. Like, he don't even like people in his own city yet. You guys want to make him like food from L.A. Like, come on. Like, when will you guys understand? Like, all right, it's just Little Rob's and his, he's he's over there. Let him do his thing. We're going to just do what we do. Come on. And everybody can be like, well, everybody's taking shots at him before. Well, now you know why. Now you know why. Now you know why. Let's hear a little quick story. He's a fucking bitch. Though. But then two months later, he's going on every single podcast exactly. saying other fools now are doing he's too trying much. To be tough well, who? So I'm saying, okay, well, fuck you now. Uh -huh. but, but here's the thing. I said that one story to show his character, how he ain't a man of his word. Yeah. Now this time I tell you, there's more than one. This is this is another one. So we're in Las Vegas, okay? Mm -hmm. We're at the uh, Lowrider Super Show. Okay. And we had two shows that day. Why is he at a show with Little Cuete be on a higher level? Why is he at a show with Little Cuete if he didn't done surpass all the Chicano rappers? Somebody please answer me. I'll wait. Somebody in the comments, one of his trolls answer. If he bigger than Chicano rap, what's he doing at a Las Vegas super show where I've even been there with Maglock? And I'm nobody. Why am I on the same stage as Little Rob? Why? <laughs> am I... <laughs> Oh, this is this is funny. I swear, this is funny that people actually will get in my comments and be like, "Chicano rap legendary. He bigger than Chicano rap. He, why the fuck did I be was? Why was I on the same stage Little Rob was at once? And Snapper not even a rapper no more. Snapper the rapper. Like, come on, man. First was at the Lowrider Super Show. The next uh, was at a uh, a side uh, like a venue, uh, a club or bar. But it was me, uh, Little Rob, Dubsy was performing that day. Yeah. I still got the pictures. I still got the videos and everything. Yeah. Um, I walked up to Little Rob and I said, hey, Rob, I already met him. I had already met him in, in Boise when he ran away from me, basically. Damn. That's the other story I could tell you. And my manager, uh, Kino Martinez, was there. And um, shout out to Kino. But anyways. And at this point, listen, before we keep going. I don't think Cuete is saying this because he's jealous. Jealous of what? I don't think Cuete is saying this because he's jealous or mad or angry. No, I think I think he's saying this because it's like, that's it. I'm, we're, we're tired of holding back. Everybody thinks this about was this and that, but acting like his, shits don't, his shit don't stink. But I'm going to tell you guys right now a couple of stories where he did me dirty. You know. I just feel that he's really out here just saying his truth. And you know what? We're all entitled to our truth. 
my truth is not going to be the same as yours. Little Rob's ain't going to be the same as his. So at this point, I don't think that Cuete is, uh, is uh, hurt or, you know, jealous. They're both on the same stage. What the fuck is there to be jealous about? Um, this, this time, uh, we're in Las Vegas. I hit him up. I said, hey, I walked up to him and said, hey, Rob, let me get a feature. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like on some real shit. Like, I have no problem with asking, you know, let, let me be known. I asked him. Mm -hmm. He knows I fuck with him. He said, there goes my manager right there. Um, I think it was Jose Lopez at the time. That was his, his guy. Right? Yeah. So he says, there's my manager mm -hmm. right there. And I said, for I'm fucking asking you, dog. I go, never mind, dog. I go, fuck that. I, I don't want it from you no more. And I walked away from him. All right, you could look at this two ways. Number one, Little Rob was being professional. Hey, I'm not in charge of that. Go hit up my manager right there. Whatever you guys come out to agree, I got you. I respect that. I respect Little Rob right there, right? It's a business thing. I'm a, I'm a business manager. I no longer I am in charge of shit because when I did, royalty robbed me. And I don't want to be in charge of shit like that. Go ask that man. I respect that. But then you also got to respect the fact that a fellow cell setter is walking up to you and saying, hey, I fuck with your shit, my boy. We both on the same stage. We both rocking it. We both got uh, a fan basis. We both got, uh, 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 you know, big numbers. We were big artists. Let's do a record together. What you think? And that fool shuts you down. And you start feeling like, nah, you know what? Fuck you then. I get that too. I get that too. I understand that. And you can't be mad at how that homie feels. Quete. So when people are like, oh, he mad over a feature. No, he not mad over the feature. Be smart. Be smart. He mad over the fact that the homie shined him off. Fuck the feature, homie. It ain't the feature. Be smart. Don't be simple minded. It ain't the feature. It's the disrespect. It ain't the jealousy. It's the disrespect. Like, oh, man, you think you're bigger than me? All right, check this out. I'm going to have my manager hit up your manager. What if the tables were turned? How would that make Rob feel? Like, damn, I'm bigger than you, and you're asking me to talk to your manager? Yeah, but this is business. Like, come on, bro. Like, I understand both. So right here, there's no winner. Next thing you know, Rob comes out comes up to me you know was upset he comes up to me and he goes hey Quetta, let me get this video for me for you on my instagram so i was like all right let's see what he has to say he gets the video he's like ah oh, we right here about to rock this second show las vegas i'm with little Quetta. we sip in the bottle stay tuned for that new feature wow he posted that on his page okay Tell me why when he I'm in his face, he's one way, but when I'm not in it, I'm not around no more, it's a totally different story. You know why? I'll tell you why. Cause he knew you were mad at him. And instead of having problems and having to look behind his back and be worried about, damn, I got quite the mad. What if one day he he sucker punches me and puts me on film? Or what if, you know, he disses me? You know what? I'm gonna just be cool with him and tell him we got it. We're gonna do it. I'm just telling him, para que se calle los cinco, cuete, right? Ya para que no me enfade. Hey, cuete, yeah, let's do it, bro. I got you. Yeah, yeah, sabes que si, Simón, Simón, Simón. And then once you're not in his presence no more, who? Cuete, who? Who? Cuete, what? Hey, manager, don't ever book me with cuete again, all right? I don't want to be on the same roster as him. So if he go, if he's there, I won't be there because I can't ever see him again because of how dirty I did him. Now, people are going to be like, well, he don't owe him nothing. He don't. He don't. And if he doesn't owe him nothing, how come he didn't have the boss to say, hey, I stand on it. I'm not going to get you a feature. I don't care how mad you are. Talk to my manager. Why? Why? So all the super fans, answer me that. Answer me that. That's not disrespectful? That he comes to you and he says, yeah, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get it cracking. Don't trip. And then he doesn't care after he's gone. You wouldn't take that as disrespect? Oh, you guys are weenies. You guys will allow it. That's the difference. You guys are little weenies. You guys will accept it, right? Like, to you, that's this is normal shit. This is not how real ones get down. This is not how real ones conduct themselves. Just to let you know. So he knew I was mad. He knew we had to spend the night with each other. He was trying to be cool. Cool for the moment. Yeah, yeah. Fact. And like I said, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I was a fan. Not anymore. And I know he's a bitch. 
Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I represent the real. I represent the real ones. You feel me? There's a lot of us out here that represent the real ones. You know who you are. There's some real ass motherfuckers in this game. Heavy hitters. Yeah. You know? Um, so, long story short, um, he went on his. I guess it was to make me feel better for that night. Yeah. Because he didn't. He, he, you know, it was, uh, I tried to reach out to him. Hey, what's up with that feature? Let's do it. Nothing. And I still haven't heard from him since then. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of why I'm like, I represent the real ones in this game. Look, I don't blame Cueta for feeling how he feels. Straight up. I don't blame Little Rob for not wanting to do a feature. But I do blame Little Rob for not keeping his word. You know, that's it. Simple. If, bro, I've had callers, uh, people call up here. Hey, I'm from this campo. Can you guys have me up there? Hell nah. Why? Because I don't want to. That's simple. Why am I going to tell you? Yeah, fool, yeah, I have you up here. I will. You know, and then they hit me up and I'll be like, nah. Nah, bro. Straight up, my boy. Nah, I won't have you up here because you fucking suck. That's it. I stand on that. People will respect that more, my boy. People will be like, you know what? I hit that fool for a feature and he told me, chales. That's it. Pinche raza miedosa, la neta. You feel me? Real ones. The ones that are stretched out. Probably pulled a couple 187s. You know what I mean? Doing long time, you know, stretched out. But come on, Cuete, that's not gangster, bro. He said, I respect the ones that are doing the ones that are the ones that are stretched out, a couple of 187s. Nah, bro, we don't, we don't. That's another thing. We don't. We support the ones that are, we support them behind closed doors for the simple fact of they did what they had to do and now they're at where they need to be at, right? And they'll always be the homies. But we don't want to teach the young generation that that's the way to go because it's really not the way to go. You feel what I'm saying? We want to support those that are working hard, those that take care of their families, those that run legitimate business, those that are helping improve society and life, right? That's what we want to applaud we don't want to applaud uh the homies that are out there murking enemies that's what it is though i mean if that's what we got in if that's what we got to deal with that's what we got to do but we not gonna promote it you feel what i'm saying let's go not like this dude he got this nowadays it's all about being fake and a certain image, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, us real ones, we we don't get that. We got to keep it one hundred. So bam for this. So now I get it. Now there's more fake people in this world. Facts. That's why he got more people. Quete, <sighs> you onto something? I said this before. The fake outnumbers the real all day long. Why you think these dropout pages have so many subscribers and followers? When the real ones are always struggling. Because the majority of the people out there don't understand how to be real or being real or being in real life situations, right? They don't they don't they don't relate to us. And I wanna say us, I can consider myself uh uh us along with people that I know, right? They don't relate to us. They relate to I'ma tell if I ever go to jail. They relate to, I had to get out of the, the program because, you know, they were using me. They relate to that, so they stick to that, right? And we all know that Little Rob, decades ago, has said, I fly a brown rag, which means, you know, I'm not associated to anything, I just do me. Which is cool, you got the right to do whatever you want, right? That That's you, that's your choice. And how many people can relate to that? A lot. He reminds me of Charleston White. He reminds me of Charleston White. Once was a game banger. It didn't work out for him. He tried to be the leader of the Cribs and they took him out or whatever. And now he's against it. Little Rob was a game banger, got shot in the face, and now it's against it. That's cool. You better your life. Salute. I appreciate that shit. That's the way it should be, right? Right. But, but, if that's what you choose... If that's what you choose, don't speak on ones or don't sneak this the ones that are still living that life, you know, because maybe it's not their turn to switch it or it's not their turn 
to uh you know better their life or it's not there. but even then bro you know how many homies are out there that are full-blown active game members but got everything going for them and their lives and their families homies with construction businesses homies with multiple houses cars businesses and they not rankers or weenies or, or crybabies or dropouts so you know the fake always outnumbers the real wow I got the real ones, but there's less real ones. There's a right. lot less real ones. You see, you see what I'm saying? Damn, good point. But I'm cool with that. Because it's quantity time to over quality, uh, quality over quantity type the time, mentality. The time will come. You know the what? The time will come. It's crazy because I feel like he plays a role like, oh, I just mind my business and I don't talk about nobody. He's a bitch. I'm in my own corner. That's some, he's that's a some bitch. strategies, right? It is what it is. Well, I talk about anybody. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I back it up too. Fuck him and anyone else. And, and <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like this though. Uh, fuck all these other podcast motherfuckers too, dog. Fuck all you motherfuckers. Yeah. Clip that shit. Put this at it. Fuck you fools. You do, do, don't really want it with a real one because a lot of mother... I, I got haters too. I don't even got to get my hands dirty. Crimes don't got to get his hands dirty. Nobody got to get their hands dirty. He said, fuck all podcasters, all, A-L-L. So he talking about criminal. Damn criminal. Damn criminal. You let them disrespect you in your house, in your face, and you allowed it. Well, fuck all rappers. How about that? How about that? And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's no meeting up, so don't even go there. I'm going to just say that right now. For the for the podcasters, podcasters that are afraid to open their mouth, fuck all rappers. How about that? Podcasters are the new rappers. That's why these rappers are turning into podcasters. Love it or hate it. Check this out. We're going to kill this motherfucking video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know. It is what it is. Don't don't get your calzones wet. You know, motherfuckers got opinions. I got opinions too. You know, uh, leave little Rob alone. He doesn't want to talk to nobody. He doesn't want to be cool with nobody. Let him do his thing. You know, let him have his fans and do what he do. Uh, it's just work on you and that's all I can say. Other than that, you guys already know tonight, 7 p.m., we go live and we out. <laughs>